Good morning, this is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations, where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the Daily Office Lectionary. And today is Monday, uh, so I thought we'd jump right into the epistle that's assigned for morning prayer. We are now in the second epistle of St. Paul to Timothy. We finished the first epistle last week. Uh, so we're in chapter number one. Let's jump and start at verse number six. Wherefore, I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Be not th thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God, who hath saved us and called us with an holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began, but is now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior Jesus Christ, who hath abolished death and hath brought life and immortality to light through the gospel, whereto I am appointed a preacher and an apostle and a teacher of the Gentiles. For the which cause I also suffer these things, nevertheless I am not ashamed. For I know whom I have believed, and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Hold fast to the form of sound words, which thou hast heard in me, in faith and love, which is in Christ Jesus. That good thing which was committed unto thee, keep by the Holy Ghost, which dwelleth in us. Okay, so uh, we have here a lot of talk about keeping the faith, right? Uh, Paul and Timothy ministered together for a while so they could kind of check off on each other. Uh, but now Paul is reminding Timothy that he has the gift of the Holy Spirit. Uh, on one sense, he has it, of course, by virtue of his baptism, but also by the charism of the laying on of hands. Remember, Paul says, I gave you this gift by the laying on of hands. And of course, we that's how we confer holy orders, right? Paul is considered an apostle, therefore a bishop of the church, Timothy has the laying on of hands, and he was received, I would imagine at this point, considered an elder of the church or a presbytery, which we call a priest now. Uh, but uh, eventually, Timothy would also be considered a bishop of the church as well. So, so that idea that the God, the Holy Spirit, has been conferred to him in a special charism by the laying on of hands. Uh, and then if Paul goes on to talk about that we're not here to fear, but rather it's a spirit of love, and of power, right? Holy Ghost power, not power as in lauding it over on people, but Holy Ghost power and having a sound mind, right? And so don't be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord. Don't go to the left or right. And in fact, don't even fear afflictions. Don't fear pain. Don't fear imprisonment. Paul calls himself a prisoner because he in fact spends time in jail. He gets arrested for preaching the gospel. And he tells him, don't fear this, right? God is still in charge. So I believe I'm persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Right? So let's, let's us take this as good advice as well. Right? That we have the gift of the Holy Spirit. If not the charism of ordination, we have the gift of the Holy Spirit is given to us by virtue of our baptism. And God the Holy Spirit will help us and guide us and govern us, help us to pray. And if we ask him to help us to learn and to keep sound doctrine. But also, uh, we do want to make sure that all that we're doing, right, hold fast to the form of sound words, right? There's plenty of bad teaching floating around out there, cheap imitations of the fullness of the gospel. Our job is to know Jesus Christ and to make him known. And the best way we do that is through the words of scripture itself. So anyway, so, you know, as he, as he finishes this part of the lesson, that good thing which is committed unto thee, keep by the Holy Ghost, which dwelleth in us. And it's true for you and me, brothers and sisters. For the two of us, it's true. We should keep this because God, the Holy Ghost, is in us and will work through us. Today's Monday. Like I said, 12:15 Holy Communion, 4 o'clock uh, evening prayer. We're right back at it. Another week, a work week, in which we can glorify God and can receive the Blessed Sacrament. And I hope your Monday is full of blessings.